So a really quick one um, to symmetrize the mesh. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Now I've got a uh, macro set up with auto hotkey. I'll run through the commands that are needed to do it. You want to basically select, um, or this is how I would do it. Because trying to select, if I was to select, let's go back and start again. If I'm going to try and select uh, the edge loop that runs through the center of my mesh, I'm just going to end up selecting the whole thing. So what you need to do is you, you need to select by path. Oops. So what we need to do is switch over to vertex selection and grab one and grab another one. And then we want to select by path and then we want to convert it into edges. So now what we can do is we can drag this over here. That's not the one we want. We want this one. Boom. And we want to zero snap our geometry to there. OK, so now we can deselect that. And let's do the same again. Oops. Let's select our first vert. And let's do it in a couple of stages rather than just rush ahead. Boom. And then I can select that using my macro. And then I can snap to zero. And where do we get to? We got to there. Let's grab. Oh, I've got back faces. No. Let's grab this one. And then let's move all the way to the bottom. Let's grab those and symmetry snap. Do it again. Now all our vertexes are along the center line. We can go ahead and copy our mesh over. So the way we'll do that is grab our faces, put back faces on grab all of them and then we're going to create symmetry and what that's going to do is just going to copy everything over on the symmetry plane down the center and then we're done and now with our center line what we need to do is select all of the vertexes just vertexes, we don't want faces. Down the center is fine. Then we want to go to our options. No, modify, modify vertices, and we want to weld those verts together. Now that should weld all the verts down the center for us. And you'll know we're not, although we are. We now have a symmetrical mesh. It's not conforming to our face. So, and the reason is that um, I didn't symmetry and conform because I know that the mesh isn't um, symmetrical. So, what I need to do is use our brush, make sure symmetry is off, and then we're going to go in, and then we're going to very gently move things around just so our mesh conforms on this side and we want to do it ever so gently we don't want to go mad because we don't want things to collapse too much and just being gentle we can get things to look right And in that way, we don't lose everything as everything tries to conform. Although the back of the head is symmetrical, so I didn't need to worry about that. It was just around the eye. It's gone a bit haywire. Let's undo that. Literally, we 
just grab a couple of alerts. In fact, let's use our edit tool to move them. Let's change our pivot point. And we're just making sure that things haven't gone too awry. Oh, we've lost the vert in there. Let's find him. There we go. nose isn't too far out of symmetry, only a little bit. So that wasn't an absolute ball lake, was it? Reasonably simple fix in order to symmetrize our mesh or as symmetrical as I need it for. Now, I know that in the original um, topo gun, we had a symmetry where we could bend symmetry. can't remember the exact name of it. I believe that is coming. I'm sure Christy said that he was adding it to this one. So that's something to look forward to. But we are there with this one. So all that remains for me to do is pull this out into a modeling package and give her an internal mouth. Uh, maybe sort those eyes out. I could have done it here, but it's easier just to take it into an external package because I'm not worried about that. I've got a UV it anyway. Um, so I'll do one more video here where I pull out um, and I bake maps on this once I've UV'd it. I'll be back when I've done that. Cheers guys.